how are you enjoying your Reading experience? I realise not much has happened yet, you haven't played yet, but how, how has it been to, to soak in the atmosphere so far? You know what, it's been really, really chilled. Um, you know, it's just been, like, we've, I've been up since like 6 a.m. I don't really know why. I feel like last excitement. night. Excitement. It's such pure excitement, <laughs> yeah. Well, like, basically last night we had a really, like, quite a bit of a fast getting in. And we basically just, just couldn't get through the gate. They were just like, nah, sorry. And we were like, oh, <laughs> okay. Eventually, after like two hours, we eventually got down and just like, it's a really cold sleep, I think. So other than that, though, I'm great. Cool. What about you? I've just uh, woke up from a nap, so I'm feeling uh, refreshed and ready to go. Ready so to you're having a strong Reading and Festival experience so far. We're with all sleepy boys. Napping and, and not getting in. So how does it feel to be playing Reading and Leeds for the first time? Amazing. Yeah, it's, um, I used to go to this place, well, Leeds. And um, when I was sort of like 17, I think I actually went like five years in a row. So it's kind of like a full circle thing where, you know, I went so much, I watched all these bands on stage and I was just like, wow, that's, you know, that's like incredible. I'd love to do that one day. And it's nice to just be able to do that, you know? It's great. I went um, 2009, Leeds, and I just thought it was sick. And um, I've always, I was always so jealous of all the bands that were like playing and just always wanted to play. And, you know, now it's like a bit of a dream come true. But, um, when I was there, I snuck backstage and watched Bring Me the Horizon on, on side stage and um, with my friend. <laughs> I can because we're playing it now, so it didn't matter. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and then you know met a few guys from Unit Six, and that to me was like amazing. Like, but um, to actually be backstage and like for real now without you know getting shoes on the other foot. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just it's just like cool. Like I don't know. It's just so what what are you going to bring to the stage? Have you got anything particularly special planned? You know what. No, not really. <laughs> nah, I don't. Yeah, we um, we just like to just put as much energy as physically possible at all times. Like you know, I feel like I've I've watched a lot of bands in my time, and like I feel like when you kind of get the vibe that they're just really enjoying what they're doing and they're just putting everything into it. Like that's exactly how we feel about when we play. You know, like I think a lot of bands kind of play and they're just kind of like, oh, I don't really want a beer, but like we do all the time like all we want to do is play shows and it's just great to just put that energy and just kind of see the the audience i guess kind of feed off that as well which is great you know um, and you're you're going out on tour you've just announced that you're part of the krang tour um how are you feeling about that really excited yeah this is going to be a this is definitely a new one as well for us big venues too so it's going to be yeah it's a big one Again, for, for me and like a few others in the band, you know, we've been as like growing up as like kids or whatever, and uh, to play it again, it's just like unbelievable, and we're very grateful to, to actually have the opportunity to play it. So, um, and you know, what is it about touring that you enjoy? Do you do you look forward to anything in particular heading out on the road? I genuinely just love just playing shows and just like hanging out with like just our mates and just you know making new friends as well, and that's always fun. And obviously, like. A lot, of the, a lot of the time it does suck kind of being away from home um, you know like missing like family pets and girlfriends and things like that and um, I don't know I think you start playing the shows all the time and just having like really good company just makes it all worth it it must be quite good at Reading as well because there must be some of your friends on the, the lineup on the stage you're playing like, is, it, is it a reunion bit of a party yeah a lot of the time yeah it's um, I, I think this, this year we've only got um, we know the guys in Waster and who else? That's it. I can't really think of anything, anyone else. But there's like bands who are playing. Slam Dunk was definitely a mate's one. Yeah. This one is like very much like um, all of our mates are playing other stages and stuff. So we'll all hang out at some point, I'm sure. Um, and what about new music? Because uh, you released your uh, last album last year. Yes. Um, have you got any? Are you working on new material? Do you have found time to write? all the time we um, we kind of realize that we don't actually have that much time to write so we need to really make the most of that and um, so basically anytime we're not playing shows we're just trying to write and also days when we are playing shows we are writing as well you know we're just trying to fit in everywhere we can so uh, one last question then how would you describe your live show in one word each if you had to it's like, um, energetic fun Energetic and fun. Sounds great. <laughs> cool. Well, uh, we look forward to seeing you later. Thank you very much for your time and enjoy the rest of Reading and Leeds. Oh, yeah, man. Thank you very much.